In this video, we're going to look at using the Workspace Browsers in Pro Tools. To open a Workspace Browser, go to the Window menu and select New Workspace. Or you can press Option semicolon on the Mac or Alt semicolon on Windows. The Workspace Browser allows you to search and sort audio files, video files, and Pro Tools session files. Each Workspace Browser offers three areas of focus, the Volume Focus, Session Focus, or Catalog Focus. In this video, we'll be looking at the volume focus exclusively. The title bar at the top of the Workspace Browser shows the current browser focus and can also display the name of the targeted volume, session, or catalog. Just below that, you'll find the Workspace Toolbar. It offers five view presets and a variety of navigation preview and search tools. The Locations pane on the left-hand side shows the available focus areas. The main workspace pane shows search results, including a variety of metadata. We'll start by conducting a simple search. I can quickly search for a file by typing a keyword into the search field here, and the workspace browser will automatically return the first 1,000 results. If a resulting file is an audio file, you can also view its waveform in the waveform column here. If you're not seeing a waveform overview for an audio file, you can either right-click it and choose Calculate Waveform, or you can select one or more files and go to the Workspace pop-up menu and choose Calculate Waveform. There are several ways to audition an audio file in the Workspace. The first is to select the desired file and click the Preview button in the Workspace toolbar. If you go to the Workspace pop-up menu, and enable Spacebar Toggles File Preview, then you can also use the Spacebar to audition a selected file. A third way to audition files is to click the Speaker icon in the Waveform column, which will audition the file from the beginning, or you can click anywhere on the Waveform to audition from a different point in the file. If you'd like to use the Pro Tools Elastic Audio functionality to audition the file at the session's tempo, simply click the Audio Files Conform to Session Tempo button, which looks like a metronome. Then when you audition the file using any of the previously mentioned techniques, the file will play at the session's current tempo. Once you've found a file that you want to import into your session, you can simply drag and drop the file into the clip list. If it's the first file that you've imported into the session, Pro Tools will ask you if you want to import the original tempo from the file. This will set your session's tempo to match the tempo of the first imported file. If you don't want to import the original tempo from the file, simply click Don't Import. Note that dragging and dropping the file from the workspace will simply reference the file in its original location if the file parameters match those of your session. If you want to force Pro Tools to make a copy of the file and place it in the session's audio files folder, simply hold down the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows when you drag and drop the file into the clip list. If you'd like to have Pro Tools automatically place your imported clip onto a new track, you have several options. The first is to hold down the Shift key and drag the clip to any location in the edit window. And you'll notice that Pro Tools automatically makes a new track with the correct number of channels and places the clip where I dropped it. If on the other hand, you'd like to have the clip placed at the start of the session, you can easily do this by clicking and dragging to the tracks list. And as you can see, a new track is created and the clip is automatically placed at the session start. I can also drag and drop a clip into the empty space at the bottom of the edit window to have Pro Tools make a new track and place the clip at the location where I drop it. You can see the location where the clip will be positioned by looking at the purple indicators in the rulers. To conduct an advanced search in the Workspace Browser, click the Advanced Search button in the toolbar. Then you can limit the search based on various metadata. For example, we could limit the kind to audio files, click the plus button to add another row, restrict our search location to just our library volume, and then enter a keyword for our search. 
You can limit the search further by adding additional rows and specifying other metadata values like sample rate, bit depth, or the date that the file was created. So that's a basic overview of how to find and import files using the Workspace Browser.